For years, filmmakers have quietly asked the same question, is Sony finally ready to deliver the FX3 that should have existed from the very beginning? Four years after the original FX3 changed the compact cinema conversation, new leaks suggest Sony may be preparing a bold answer. In this video, I'm breaking down everything we currently know about the rumored FX3 successor, often referred to as the FX3 II or FX3 Mark II, why it matters right now, and how it could be Sony's most direct response yet to cameras like Canon C50 and Nikon ZR. Stick with me, because right up front I'll tease the two rumored features that could genuinely transform indie filmmaking workflows, internal 12-bit RAW recording and full open gate capture. Later, I'll explain why those two features alone could reduce rig size, speed up post-production, and fundamentally change how small crews work. Let's start with some context. The original FX3 was special for a reason. When it launched, it gave independent filmmakers something they had been asking for years, a truly compact, full-frame cinema-style camera that didn't require a massive rig, a dedicated crew, or a five-figure budget. It blended Sony's mirrorless sensor tech with a cinema-focused body, offering XLR audio, active cooling, and a form factor that felt liberated compared to traditional cinema cameras. For many shooters, it was the first time cinema-quality images felt genuinely portable. But in the camera world, four years is an eternity. What felt cutting edge in 2021 began to feel familiar by 2022, and by 2024, parts of the FX3's internal architecture were undeniably dated. Competing brands didn't stand still. Canon pushed forward with more cinema-oriented internal codecs. Nikon surprised the industry with ambitious video features and raw options. Even smaller players started delivering modern recording formats that reduced reliance on external gear. Meanwhile, Sony's incremental updates across its lineup weren't enough to quiet growing chatter from filmmakers who wanted a real generational leap, not another minor refresh. That's why the current FX3 II rumors feel different. This isn't just wishful thinking from fans. These leaks read more like a calculated response to a market that has evolved. Filmmakers today want fewer external accessories, lighter builds, faster turnaround times, and content that can be delivered across multiple platforms without reshooting. The rumored FX3 successor appears designed specifically for that reality. The most significant rumored upgrade, and the one that has the filmmaking community buzzing, is internal 12-bit RAW recording. This is not a small improvement. Moving from 10-bit to 12-bit RAW dramatically expands the amount of color and tonal information captured in every frame. In practical terms, that means smoother color gradients, cleaner transitions in skies and skin tones, and far more flexibility when pushing footage in post-production. Shadows hold together better. Highlights roll off more gracefully. Colorists gain a much more forgiving image to work with. What makes this rumor truly exciting is the suggestion that this 12-bit RAW would be recorded internally. No external recorder. No extra cables. No additional batteries hanging off the side of your rig. That single change alone could simplify setups on set in a major way. Lighter rigs mean less fatigue for operators, especially on shoulder-mounted or handheld shoots. Fewer failure points reduce stress during long takes. And cutting external recorders out of the workflow lowers both cost and complexity, which is crucial for solo shooters and small teams. The second major rumored feature is open gate recording in a 3 to 2 aspect ratio. Open gate allows the camera to capture the full height of the sensor instead of cropping to traditional widescreen formats. This has huge creative and practical implications. With open gate, one single take can be reframed later for horizontal video, vertical content, or square formats. If you're producing content for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and client deliverables all at once, this becomes a workflow superpower. Instead of planning separate shots for different platforms, filmmakers can focus on performance and composition knowing they'll have flexibility later. This is especially valuable for documentary shooters, commercial creators, and agencies juggling multiple outputs from the same shoot. Open gate doesn't just save time, it changes how you plan coverage. Beyond these two headline features, additional leaks suggest the FX3 II could feature a new 24.2 megapixel stacked full frame sensor. A stack design typically enables much faster sensor readout speeds, which directly reduces rolling shutter. That's critical for handheld work, fast camera movement, and action heavy scenes. Less rolling shutter means straighter lines, more natural motion, and footage that feels more cinematic without extra stabilization tricks. There are also whispers, still unconfirmed, about some form of global shutter technology. If that turns out to be true, it would be a massive leap forward. 
Global shutter would eliminate rolling shutter artifacts entirely, opening the door to flash photography, distortion-free motion, and entirely new creative possibilities. While this rumor should be taken cautiously, its mere presence shows how ambitious Sony's internal roadmap might be. Processing power is another area where the FX3 successor is expected to leap ahead. Leaks point to next-generation dual processors paired with a dedicated AI processing unit. This combination could significantly improve autofocus performance, subject recognition, and predictive tracking. Sony already leads the industry in autofocus reliability, but smarter AI could push it even further, especially in chaotic shooting environments with multiple subjects, erratic motion, or low light. Then there are the practical refinements, which matter just as much as headline specs. Active cooling is rumored to be improved, allowing longer continuous recording times without thermal limits. Dual card slots are expected, potentially combining CF Express Type-A with SD cards for flexible media choices. Connectivity upgrades like Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2 could dramatically speed up file transfers and remote control workflows. Direct USB-C streaming modes are also rumored, positioning the FX32 as a powerful live production tool. The body itself may receive subtle but important improvements, a sturdier chassis, better heat dissipation, and a refined LCD screen that's brighter and more usable in real-world conditions. None of these features grab headlines on their own, but together they signal a camera built for reliability, not just specs. Now let's talk about the creative impact, because this is where the FX32 could truly shine. Internal 12-bit RAW and open gate recording are not marketing checkboxes. They directly affect how filmmakers work. Raw recording reduces the need for external hardware, which speeds up setup times and lowers the cost per shoot. Open gate reduces the need for multiple cameras or repeated takes for different platforms. For one-person crews, small agencies, and commercial shooters, this means more efficiency without sacrificing image quality. If Sony can deliver all of this at a competitive price, the FX32 could become a project-winning camera. Clients care about results, turnaround time, and reliability. A camera that simplifies production while preserving cinematic quality has real business value. So the big question remains, is this finally the FX3 successor that reclaims Sony's leadership in the compact cinema space? The leaks suggest something far more ambitious than a mild refresh. If even half of these rumors are accurate, the FX3 II could reset expectations for what a small cinema camera can do. Now it's your turn. Which feature would change your workflow the most, internal 12-bit RAW, open gate recording, or smarter AI autofocus? Are you willing to wait for these rumored releases, or are you already looking at alternatives? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss the announcement coverage when it finally drops.